All right, I am going to show you how to create your own custom click uh, using Reason, and then we're going to import this into Ableton Live. So basically, I've just got a basic setup in Reason, uh, a mixer and a drum machine. Uh, I've got a click here that I've added, and uh, all I've done is I've set my location markers left and right for a two bar loop. Make sure you got loop on and loop off down here and your controller, uh, set your click and your pre, record yourself a loop, however you want it to sound like, whatever sound you want to use. Once you've actually, here's what I did, here's my two bar loop. Of course that sound could be whatever sound you want, um, that works for you, works for your drummers. Um, but then it's as simple as going, once you have that pattern done and quantized it, you simply go up to File and Export Loop as Audio File. Now I have already done this and saved it to my desktop. It's right here. I called it Custom Click. So if I were to play it, there it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close out of Reason. And uh, we don't need to save that. And then we're going to open up Ableton Live and import that into, as soon as I can find my Ableton Live. <laughs> oh, it's down under Live, I forgot. And I'm working with version 6 here on this desktop. I actually own 8 on my laptop. I just haven't got it on here. Um, but this will give you the idea of how it works. It's actually pretty simple to import it. So uh, I'm gonna go here and find a folder that shows my desktop here. Uh, I haven't gone in and done any of this, but it's easy enough to go to my desktop. There's my custom click. It's playing for me. Now when I pull it in as an audio file, I'm actually able to go in here and make some ad adjustments to warp it and it will loop it so when I actually play it it will loop it around and I can go in here and change the tempo it will change with me so that's how you customize your own clicks make your own clicks uh, in Reason and you're able to import them into Ableton Live uh, my recommendation is that you would um, take your, create a folder on an external hard drive or somewhere on your hard drive that you can save all of your click sounds to it and keep them in that folder because what happens is Ableton Live actually puts all the added information it needs to remember that this loop that you imported uh, can be used in Ableton and does the whole time stretching. So it creates a, a little file that, that needs to stay with that uh, click audio file. So it's best to set up a file or a folder somewhere on your hard drive and keep it all there. Um, other than that, I think that's it. That's, that's basically how you do it. I hope this video has been helpful.